Hi, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop with a video for you. Went yard selling today. Got this guy. Tag said, oh, it's still on here. 10. I gave him five once I opened it up. And I know what some of you are probably thinking. Why would you buy something like this for your shop? Now, I like to, it's kind of a little side hobby of mine. I like to find these small, readily available machines and find a way to tune them up to make them useful. And the only reason I bought this is variable speed. And it has, it goes down to a very low foot per minute. And it advertises it'll cut steel. It only means like aluminum and stuff. So I opened it up. And yes, it's the 4th of July. So happy 4th of July. So you'll be hearing that in the background. Um... Whenever you buy a used bandsaw, I always check my phone real quick and make sure you can still get tires for it. And this one you can. You can make your own tires for these smaller machines. It's not that hard. I use rubber cement and old bicycle inner tubes. And I'll show that in a video one day. But, so I looked it up. Get a set of tires for these um, for like 20 bucks. So I'm in it for 25 bucks. But I got a blade place I ordered cutting blades from. I got the blade from that guy and the, uh, oh, what is it? The Johnson. You can get blades in bimetal, any size, any TPI. And I looked it up, and I can get a blade for this guy for 23 bucks. And reading reviews, people have cut, you know, one-inch square stock with it. Stuff like that. Now, being a quarter-inch blade, and they're .025 thick, I believe, they don't last very long once they get damaged. So what I'm going to do is, tomorrow, I'm going to order me a couple blades for it, a couple different TPIs, and the wheels for it, or tires. And it does work. Oh. Plug it in. You see it goes down to a very fine feed. There's there's no blade on it, so. So yeah. Because this, and the table tilts, it's got a pretty nice scale on the bottom, actually. This is a late or mid-90s Taiwanese thing. But this might make a handy saw for the bench, for doing small cutoff work, cutting tubing, cutting aluminum. Um, I'm getting a TIG machine soon for a bunch of aluminum projects I'm going to do. Actually, a slight production run on something. So this will probably come in handy for that. But again, especially you guys that have smaller shops, like working, like the shop I started in was the half of a shed at a rental property. And it was maybe 12 foot by eight foot. So if I can take some machines like this, find a way to tune them up cost effectively, this is not worth putting $100 into. Or even 60 or 70. Um, and then if I can share that gut knowledge with you guys. And let you guys get quite a bit of work out of a machine just like this. Then uh, I'm sure that would be appreciated. I know starting off. I wish I hadn't been so quick to turn my nose up at stuff. Because again I have the Johnson. I have that jet 14 inch garbage thing. But uh, I'm not a. You know a. I'm not ashamed if someone comes to my shop and sees that on my bench. You know, if it's a useful tool or I can make it useful, then I'll use it. So yeah, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.